Mangoes! Let's start as we always do with the Mighty Minute! is always at a ball game? I don't know. A bat. <laughs> What's the wrong favorite music? I don't know. Rock and roll. <laughs> what does a boomerang that doesn't come back? I don't know. What do you call a boomerang that doesn't come back? spaghetti go to dance? The meatball! <laughs> what is cow's favourite food? I don't know. Moosely. <laughs> Do you yeah. have a joke? We really need your videos! Send them in to MightyMungos at SaintMungos.org We love seeing your faces! Here at Mighty Mungos, we are thankful. Forget it, at it. Let's see who sent in their videos this week. I'm grateful for my bunny. I'm thankful for being beside the sea on holiday. I'm grateful for my to my Spiderman suits and my free Spiderman suits and my real bunny. We're thankful for picnics. We're thankful for sitting on trees. No. I'm thankful for being upside down on spinny things. Whee! I'm grateful for zip lining on my birthday. Thank you for snails. Thankful for the tooth fairy. We're thankful for trees. 
So what are you thankful for? Send in your videos to mightymangos.org. We love seeing your faces. <laughs>
Good morning. This morning, I'm going to talk to you about stuff. Stuff. We all have it. Stuff that keeps us entertained. Stuff that makes us feel good about ourselves. Yours might be a favourite toy or a computer game that you like to play. Could be your favourite clothes. You might keep your stuff in your bedroom. Or you might have a garage that's full of stuff that you hardly ever use anymore. Most of my stuff is related to the sports that I've played throughout my life. I've got golf clubs, football boots, bikes, baseball bats. Yeah, more than one. They're all kept in the cupboard at home. Now the stuff in our lives can also be the things that we do. It could be our hobbies, our sports, or prizes that we've won at various points in our life. But does all this stuff help us in our day-to-day lives? Does it help the people around us? Sure, it can be helpful to have the right tool for the job. Just ask Dave two drills lines. But when we start to put too much importance on things around us, then we can start to measure ourselves based on what we have or what we've done. Our focus is on ourselves, what we want to need, and we can lose sight of those around us. We then start to take comfort from all the stuff in our lives and stop seeking the security that can only be found when we live our lives with Jesus. In today's parable, Jesus talks about the danger of placing too much importance on what we've got or what we've done when he tells this parable of the greedy farmer. And this is what it says. There was a rich man who had some land which grew a good crop of food. The rich man thought to himself, what will I do? I have no place to keep all my crops. But then he said, I know, I'll tear down my barns and I'll build bigger ones. I'll put all my grain and other goods together in these new barns. And then I can say to myself, I have enough good things stored to last for many years. Rest, eat, drink and enjoy life. But God said to the man, you foolish man, tonight you will die. So who will get those things that you've prepared for yourself? In the parable, the farmer realises he has lots of food, so he decides to sit back and enjoy himself, because for the rest of his life, he doesn't need to worry about having enough for himself. He hasn't thought about how he could use what he has to help others who may be in need. Unfortunately for the farmer, he dies that night, and all the stuff that he's kept for himself hasn't helped him at all. And when he dies, God challenges the farmer and asking, who will get those things that you prepared for yourself? He's effectively asking the question, who have you helped with what you've been given? Now the farmer took his assurance from the grains in his barn and praised himself for doing such a good job of growing them. Conveniently, he forgot that it's God who brings the sun and who brings the rain that helps to grow those crops. He was a bit like the builder we heard about last week. He built his house on the sand. The farmer placed his faith in something that was not stable or certain and ultimately did not help him. Had he chosen to focus on the fact that it was God who provided for him, then he may have chosen to do more to help others with his bumper harvest. Now there is no denying that it's nice to have nice things, but that should not be the only goal. God will provide for us, but he also wants us to take what he has given us to help those around us. We're not supposed to just protect or hoard what we have like the farmer did, but should see it as an opportunity to reach out and to help others around us. So my challenge for you today is how can you use what God has given you to help someone else? Maybe there's some stuff that you've been keeping hold of that you could donate or give away to someone who needs it. Perhaps you could do something to help someone around you. Maybe you could do something to help someone that you don't even know. How will you remember that God is the one who makes sure that you have what you need? You stay classy, St. Mungus. Now it's time for the Memory Verse Challenge! Mighty Mongers, we love to get the Word of God in our minds and in our hearts. That's why we have the Memory Verse 
Challenge! That see serious I said in that video. That see serious said is a video <laughs> this week. Then for anybody who hears these words of mine and puts them into practice, it's like the wise man who built his house on the rock. Matthew 7 verse 24. Anyone who listens to my teachings and follows it is wise, like a person who builds a house on solid rock. Matthew 7 verse 24. And the main thing for this week is, drum roll please. Life is not defined by what you have, even when you have a lot. Luke 12, 15. That's it, our time together is almost over. But before we go, there is of course time for our favorite section, which is, Translation, Family Face Off! Church Online.